Hey guys, what is up? I hope everybody's been having a great day. I gotta say, we have a banger today. We are playing Pinehurst number two. I'm super excited about it. If you guys are excited, drop a like. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel if you really do enjoy this content. I'm really gonna be focused on bringing more iconic golf courses for you guys to enjoy. I can tell you for certainty, this is gonna be a banger. And I'm joined by Bernie, my coach, and he joined me for all 18 holes as well. So, you know, what do you have to say about what's happening today and what they're about to see? Yeah, I think everybody, you're gonna see Pinehurst number two, one of the greatest golf courses you can play in America. Super challenging off the tee and even more challenging into the green. So lots of shot values that you just don't see on many golf courses. So it's gonna test Kyle's ability to control his distance, play some very unique shots around the green. And you're gonna get a chance to see Kyle not only hit the ball well, but his short game's getting better. Yeah, it's, it was, it was, it's a little better, you know. He's been working with me pr pretty intensely on it. Yeah, and he played a little bit too, so you get to see a little bit of Bernie's game. I really hope you guys enjoy it. I'm super excited to um, show it to you guys. And yeah, check out Bernie on YouTube, Instagram. I'll link his stuff in the bio, in the uh, description below. And uh, yeah, let's get into it, because I know you guys want to see it. Hope you guys enjoy it. All right, guys, so here is the first hole of Piners number two. It's a 410 yard par four in definitely crazy looking green, but we're going to be hitting driver right at that pin, maybe just a bit right, and hopefully he'll set us up with a nice little chip. <laughs> well, that was a really good tee shot. Absolutely smoked that. You can see the pitch mark right there. Really close to the screen. Got about probably 15 yard, 20 yard pitch shot. So I'll tell you guys, that shot felt really good. Just smoothed it. Really nice baby fade right where I wanted it. So now Pioneer is obviously infamous for its greens. So we're really going to be focusing on holding these greens and all that. So. I think I'm gonna hit a 58 degree here, let it kind of skip up and stop and try to get the stop on that the top of that crown. Well, that was a great way to start. Um, I gotta say that chip made me more excited than the drive. To be able to hit a shot like that to a green that crowned and have the perfect spin and landing spot, it's pretty pretty exciting. Um, so gotta give credit to Bernie. He's been helping me out a lot with that. So I'm starting to suck a little less. Um, but now we're on hole two, 508 yard par four, I think, something like that. Um, yeah, bit of a dog leg right, it appears. So. I think I'm going to take a line like right here, play a bit of a fade with this wind, see if we can get it, you know, somewhat inside 150. <laughs> Alright guys, so we absolutely smoked this. 76 yards left, let's see what we have here. Well, I'm, I'm actually curious. I'm not 100% sure those were the U.S. Open tees. I'm sure some of you guys have seen, you know, the, the, uh, the tees and know the course well enough. This is my first time around Piners number two. Let me know if those are the U.S. Open tees. I'm not entirely sure. If they were, then that was about a 430 yard drive. If it was the tee up, it was like 380. But I think they were the U.S. Open tees, but if I'm wrong, let me know. So we got 76 left. I mean, that is a tremendous false front there, so. I'm going to go ahead and hit a 62 degree wedge, try to carry up to the top of that shelf and just get to sit there and see if we can hit it close. Well, didn't quite hit it far enough. Got back up to here and rolled down a bit. Really was trying to get it up there, but I'm telling you guys, it is just so difficult around these greens. Like the greens are truly 
the true size of these greens is about a third of what they're claimed square spaces so square uh, feet um so yeah so what we got left coming back up the hill so let's see if we can get down to All right, guys, I am really happy with that two putt. Bernie was looking at me sheepishly like, how the heck did you manage to two putt that? And I was thinking the same thing. But Bernie brought up a good situation here. So he is a little bit long. He's been victimized by these greens already pretty severely. Yeah, so at Pinehurst number two, one of the most demanding green complexes you'll play in golf, you have to hit the right part on the green. And I hit a really good shot in here, just a fraction, maybe a yard left of where I need to hit the ball. Just to show you what it looks like, if you land it there, you'll see it'll line its way down into that collection area near where my ball is. So now, if we go down here, Kyle, just to give them some perspective, look at the elevation change. You can see, go back towards the top. And where we are here, we've got a steep slope. We've got to go back into the grain. And the putter is your best choice for this shot. You could use a three wood or a five wood, nothing wrong with that, but I'm only about 40 feet here, 35 feet. So I'm gonna try to putt the ball, but what you gotta be careful with, there's a lot of sticky grass here. It's very grainy. And one of the things that happens when you try to make a bigger stroke, a lot of folks get a little handsy and they miss hit the putt. So good contact, visualize the roll. Obviously I'm going along some grass here that's not at the length of the putting green, but I'm going to just trust this is going to roll very much like the green and put a smooth stroke on it. It should go up the hill, double breaking to the hole. Let's take a look here. That is really good. <laughs> That's some yeah, good touch. So to get it to a couple feet from here is a really good situation that I'm proud of. Yeah, I mean, that is no joke like within four feet from there is absolutely unreal so yeah that's definitely one good tip especially courses like pinehurst really any difficult courses that have these kind of green complexes that's how you make big numbers is you start playing ping pong across the um the green so it's a great tip to enact let's go on to hole three all right so that was a really solid two putt there as i said um so now we're on hole three 300 i think he's like 85 yards Bit of a dog leg, so as the crow flies, I lasered that, it's about 350. So can't hit driver, it's too short, too long. Can be hitting one iron at that little dip in the trees where it kind of cuts down, and we should be right around the green. All right guys, so I went a little right. I'm somewhere over there. We will figure out where that ended up. But first, Bernie's in the fairway bunker here. Not a terrible spot, and we figured it'd be a good spot for him to give a fairway bunker tip. Yeah, so if you're in a fairway bunker, especially with a short iron, a couple thoughts. One, you want precise contact. So for me, the yardage we're at, it's right around 120 yards, which normally is a comfortable gap wedge, but I'm gonna play my pitching wedge here because I don't wanna swing extra hard on this shot. I want to have some control. One of the things you want to do to help with that, just grip down on the club a little bit. Shorten the club a bit, stand a little taller, good balance, and this is not a swing you want to jump out of your shoes on. But that doesn't mean your legs aren't working. Get a good stance, support your swing, and good things will happen. So we've got the wind a little bit right to left. Out here, Pinehurst number two. These greens are tricky, so I'm looking at that bunker, guarding the pin and the space to the right of it. And I've got to start this probably 10, 12 feet right of it and hope the wind takes it towards the pin and hope the ball lands with enough spin to stay on the green. And one last thing, near your ball, you might want to just rehearse your swing a little bit because you're standing in sand, which is not as stable of a surface. So always good to feel the ground, get used to what you're going to be swinging with your feet in that condition. Dig in a bit, and here we go. 
Oh, this is money. Get there. Stay. Well, Kyle, I think I kept it on the green, which is a feat here, by nurse number two. <laughs> Let's go see where your ball is. Yeah, I can tell you guys right now, that's probably about 20 feet pin high. In fact, let's see if I can zoom it in from a little closer here. You guys can see that. I don't know. Just right, right there. So it's a fantastic shot. And guys, to get the stop on these greens is just crazy. So definitely apply that. I've used it a lot in my career, and it's really helped me out out of the sand. So let's see if my ball's in a decent spot. All right, guys. Well, I went a little right here. Caught a few of these pines up here. Didn't quite make I was hoping I made it past these trees, but I think I caught a few of the pines a little high up. So this is my situation. I do have a bit of a swing, but kind of got a rope, do a little bit of a rope, rope draw action. I'm just gonna try to hold this green. Got 55 yards left. Anything holding this green is great. So that's my goal. I'm gonna probably hit a 62 degree, give as much spin as I can, see what we can do. All right, guys, well, that's where I ended up. It literally was like up here for like an entire second or two. I thought I was gonna stop and just the hard, hard hole. So probably gonna hit a 58 here. See if we can hold the screen. All right, so that was a really rough hole. I gotta be honest, so that second shot was about a foot away from being about 20 feet away from the pin. It just kept rolling and then I had a really tough lie on that that sand path and that's just a tough lie to hit out of. Hit a pretty good shot, but it just kept rolling past the pin. And that putt, if I put it any more left, it would have got sucked into that bunker on the left. And just didn't, just didn't hit it hard enough on the last one, but I'm not, I made a seven, yes, and that sucks. But this course is a monster for a reason. There's a reason it's a U.S. Open course. And, you know, it's, I'm just confident and comfortable with my game right now. And that's not going to change. I hit good shots and they just weren't good enough. So it is what it is. It's just motivation to keep working on my short game because I really feel like I'm hitting good shots around the green. This is just a very penal course. But that's why we all love playing it. So on hole three, I mean, sorry, hole four. 529 yard par four. I'm gonna play it all the way back at the US Open tees. And uh, yeah, we are going to send it. All right, well that felt good. Pumped pump this one out there. The tee is all the way back there at the very top of that that uh, hill. 122 left. And I gotta be honest, so that little green complex number three, there's a lot of people walking back and forth because it's kind of a crisscross of holes. About 20 people saw me make a seven. I'm glad at the very least those same people then saw me hit it 400 yards in the middle of the fairway. So that's a good redemption thing. And I'm gonna be honest here. I'm struggling still playing in front of people. That pressure that, you know, with golf, I'm still trying to get used to, especially when you're filming. There's a lot of things your mind's kind of distracted with. So it's always a good challenge, but, um, you know, really just looking forward to continuing to progress, continuing to work on my game with Bernie. Motivation is very high right now. So right now, 122 yards. Give you hitting a 54 degree wedge. It looks like that's Bernie shot right there. You can see a ball rolling. So pins up front, so let's see if we can hit it close.
All right, guys, well, that was a really good shot there. You can see my pitch mark. Ball spun back pretty nicely. Got a really good look at a three here. And that's what I'm saying, guys. I'm, I'm really liking some of these wedges I'm hitting. And, you know, I talked to Bernie a little bit about that, kind of what happened on three. And he told me I really didn't hit any bad shots. That's just this course. That's why I believe two guys finished under par at the U.S. Open. So that's why. I mean, this is just a beast. But it really makes you want to get better. So we got about a 12-footer coming back downhill. Let's see if we can roll it in. All right, so that was rough. I thought that thing was in, and you guys know how tough it is when you mentally think one's already gone in, and then it cuts right off at the end and snaps and lips out. So still, that's a 530 yard par four, and that is my strength, being able to turn those holes into birdie holes, and hopefully we can turn the rest of my game into a good enough strength as well. By the way, as of the timing of this video, I want to shout out Micah. He won his first pro event shoot to 64, so huge shout out to him. Big inspiration. Keep it going, buddy. You are a beast, so keep working on it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna send one with the driver here. It's a 580 yard, par five. And yeah, pretty much right at the left center of that fairway. Well, pulled it a bit left here in the pine straw. So the direction of the green is this way. So here's my plan. I am gonna take this path here. I don't wanna take this because there's an overhanging branch there. It's 245, so I'm gonna take this, play a rope hook, and just try to chase it around that green complex because I feel like I can go pretty far up there before I get in trouble. So we're gonna give that a shot. To be completely honest with you guys, if I was in tournament, I would probably just hit it right there and lay up, but I know you guys don't want to see that. So 244, I'm gonna go with a five iron here and just try to rope it around these trees and get it close to that green. All right, guys, well, that was absolutely nuts. Um, I actually have golf.com golf filming with me, too. He was trying to capture the same angle. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> I was probably aiming right over there. And so to give you guys an idea, I was right in that area there, if you can like, kind of in that neighborhood here. And I aimed out to here and try to play a rope hook. It's a bit short. This is definitely a good spot to be. Um, always fun to hit those shots. Probably about 25 yards left here. So we try to bump it up and get the release on up to the pin. So if we hit close. All right, guys, this is where I hit my chip shot, too. Um, I want to give a shout-out to Bernie on that shot because I, I know it didn't, you, you didn't see it on camera. I was about to hit a 62 there. I actually hit a 58, and if you guys noticed, I had to toe down. So I was into the grain, and I typically would use a 62 and just use the no bounce, and it would get stuck and flub it. That was a shot I normally would never be able to hit well, but with a lower lofted club, I put the toe down, open the face a little bit, use that bounce. And I felt, I felt like this would be a good thing for Bernie to reflect on as well, because he's seen me hit way too many reps where I didn't do it right, so. Yeah, so a lot of times you get into the grain and the worst thing to do is get the heel side of your club stuck. Let me just uh, grab a wedge here to show you that. So the heel side right here, if that gets caught in the grass, the club head's gonna hit the grass and close dramatically and that's gonna cause the lead edge to dig. So good players know this, they raise the heel up 
advanced players know to open it a little bit more and that just lets you use the toe side and you can glide it and make those shots a lot easier now when you add all that loft take a club with less loft so if you did that with a 62 you'd have to make a huge swing so i encourage you even to use maybe your gap wedge give that a try it's going to help you with your game yeah and especially when it's into the grain when i started making back swings and i saw my club get stuck i was like okay we need to change clubs so that's a good tip for you guys to do help me out a lot especially on grainy courses so we got about a seven footer let's see if we can roll this in Stay up. <sighs> so true. Man, All right, well, that was just didn't read it right, honestly. It was a putt I wanted to hit, just didn't quite break the way I expected. But you know, par is a par, and now we're on the hole six, 225 yards. You definitely see quite a shelf there. Give me hit a six iron, see if we can, bit of a headwind, so see if we can flight it in and hit it close. All right, guys, so pretty good shot here to find the green, a little bit right. Um, we do have a bit of a mound, and then probably about eh, a 40-footer to work with. So it's all about speed control here and just making a good, smooth stroke. So see if we can get down into. All right, so that was a really good two putt there. Had Bernie help me out a little bit on that read. So that definitely helped. Um, so nice two putt, great three. That is a hard hole. Um, no point going for this one. It's very penal up there. So I'm gonna be hitting a two iron just right of that yellow tree. Shouldn't have much more than hundred yards left. All right, so pretty solid shot here at the left edge of this fairway. Pretty crazy how quickly that turns into a waste area. Got 117 pins in the front, a little bit of a herd wind. Gonna go with the 54 degree and um, should be able to float it past the pin a little bit, spin it back We're using this wind as a bit of a backstop. See if we can set ourselves up with a really nice little birdie opportunity. All right, guys. You can show, you can show them. Yeah. Uh, my First, I want to show you guys where my ball landed and then the line that it was coming in on. So that was where it landed right there. And that was my line. It came in right over and I was like, this is money. It ended up over there. And so Bernie was talking about my miss and how tough and penal these greens are. And this is a really good example. Yeah, so what you see here at Pinehurst number two, there's only at each hole location probably two to three yards to land it in on a short force this is a great design you'll see kyle's ball mark he showed you where i'm standing if he hits the ball here it would actually spin back and maybe go 40 feet that way and i'd say kyle you had to hit it about if i aim point it right about here yeah so just to give you an example if we just sort of let it plop there let's see what happens and you can see that's about as soft and close as you're gonna get it unless you back it up into the cup. But yeah. greens really punish any shots out of the proper spot. Yeah. And I, I actually hit a pretty good iron shot, but I didn't cover the front edge. It hit the fringe and spun back. So now I'm facing a tough chip. Yeah. So this is a great test of golf. Yeah, I mean, and that really shows it. I landed there, my ball ended up there, and Bernie dropped one as soft as he could, and it rolled back to there, so. 
yeah, this is this course is unbelievable, but I'm having so much fun. It's really, really is a great test. So let's see if we can. I'm probably putting, so we can definitely still try to make birdie here. It's only about a 30 footer, so let's see if we can roll it in. That was another really good two putt. Really fighting hard. Um, still feeling really good about my play today so far. Um, so now we're on a hole eight, 502 yard par four, tipping it all the way out. And gonna be going right at that bunker way up there, just right of that. Should have about something like 120, 130 yards left. All right guys, so in all honesty, this is a good tee shot. It's just so incredibly tight and you can see tees all the way back there. So, got 147 left, about two yards off the fairway, but we're in the some pretty weird lie here, but I think we can still catch it pretty reasonably predictably. 40 degree wedge, 147 left. Pin, she's gonna try to put it in the center of the green, give ourselves a look at a three. Well guys, I'm gonna sum up Pinehurst. So that's the pin from ball landed, missed it by about, so my target was right about there. Missed it by about five, six feet left, as Bernie will joyously point out. And that's where it ended up. So, frankly, I'm probably fortunate that it didn't roll all the way down into that, under that tree. But that's just what makes Pinehurst so dang hard. Um, but you gotta love it, or else you're gonna hate it, so. Let's see if we can get up and down and um, get out of here with the four. Great shot. All right, normally I don't talk about chips too much, but I had to say this is probably one of the best shots I've hit in a while. I had to land that right there. And you guys saw from that vantage point and somehow got it to stop. So, yeah, Bernie's done a good job. I'm starting to not suck from around the greens. So Kyle's gone from some would describe as a butcher around the greens to <laughs> now he's showing some deft touch, which is great to see. That was an awesome shot. You know, it means a lot to hear him say it because then I actually think it was okay. So, got about three feet. Let's clean us up for our four. Guys, well, I'm still pumped about the up and down. Um, so, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about that. On hole nine, 162 yards, par three. Pin is hanging over to the left edge of that green. So I'm gonna aim with that complex of trees right there. There's three right there, put it in the middle. And we should have about a 30 to 20 footer for, for birdie. All right, well, pull left pretty bad. Bit of indecision on my part. I was gonna kind of take a three-quarter pitching wedge, but at the last second decided to go full and kind of let the door shut a little too much. Landed right here and really bound it pretty solidly up there. So, did a little bit of green work with, and I think what I'm gonna do here is just play a little bit of a bump and run, land it right there, the pitching wedge. Let's scoot on up to the pin. So let's see if we can hit a good shot. Not the best chip there, but Bernie and I did a little work actually there. So we've 
gotten it figured out. I just gotta learn how to hit, you know, these different shots, and um, but I'm slowly figuring it out. I have hit pretty happy some of the short game shots I've hit today, so I'm not gonna dwell on it too much. So we're just battling right now, but it's a lot of fun. So now in hole 10, absolutely mammoth hole, 620 yard par five. You can see that bunker out in the distance, gonna hit it at the right edge of that with the driver, and we are going to send it. All right, so pulled it a little bit, but honestly, not a terrible miss. Not way off the map. So we're still in the hole. Um, let's see if I can show you guys the pin. I don't know if you can see it, so I get an angle. It's like right through those trees, right in that line. I got five iron, it's 260. So my plan here, start it right here with a left draw, and again, the pin's right here. Those trees out there are only about 250, so I feel like though, if I leave it right, it won't go as far and it'll stay short. So I feel like I can go for this. And yeah, let's see if we can get there. Looks pretty good. All right guys, this is a fantastic shot. Just short of this green. I hit it flush, 260. I really thought it would be able to run up there, but might get, get a little chillier, it's getting a little later in the day, that might have played a difference, but fantastic shot from where I was to rope it around those trees. So, I'm gonna be hitting a 60 degree here, kinda just kick it into this hill, let's skip up, and should have a pretty close shot left for Birdie. Well, a bit of a disappointing five. Had I had it to do over, I would have definitely hit a lower lofted shot on my third shot, but you live and you learn on a hole 11, 483 yard, par four. Sorry, it's a little sunny. We're going right into the sun. Just gonna be hitting it up the left center of the driver. Should put us in a good spot. Well, I smoked that right up the left center. See the ball here, got 103 left. Pins hanging just over that bunker. You'd be hitting a 54 degree wedge. Really solid shot here. Brought that in nice and a little bit past the pin, just like I wanted it. Didn't really mess that bunker too much. Really liked how that ball was flighted. So, kind of about a 15 footer. See if we can can it. It'd really be a nice three to make right now. All right, so didn't quite can that one, but no big deal. On hole 12, 485 yards, and I'm telling you guys, these tees are back there. Um, but uh, look at the green right there. Gonna be the same with the driver. Up the left center of that fairway, should have inside 130. Alright guys, so absolutely rip this up the left center. Only 80 yards left, absolutely perfect position. Give you a 62-3 wedge and really just about a nice little touch, nice feel. Let's see if you can hit it right on top of the pin.
All right, well, that was an awesome shot there. You can see the pitch mark. Skipped up there and spun back. Now we got about eight feet. I'll tell you guys, these wedges we put a lot of work in. They're feeling really solid and just really smooth. So, see if we can finish this off. We're gonna have a bit of a downhill right to lefter. So, let's see if we can knock it in. All right, so that was a really solid three. Just a very crisp puller all around. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Now I'm in hole 13. And uh, only about 360 to this pin. You can see up in the corner there. So I'm just gonna go for it. I feel pretty good. You can hit that little crooked tree there and fade it off and try to land it right on top of that pin. All right, well, here's where I ended up. Just a bit left and short. Um, didn't quite hit it well. Full disclosure, there's zero reason to hit driver in this hole um, now that I've played it. I would definitely in a tournament lay back there and probably have like an easy 100 yard wedge shot in, but this is gonna be a more interesting shot because I'm in the sand. I gotta play this like an explosion shot. I got about 40 yards to cover here to get to that pin. So I'm gonna take my 48 degree, play an explosion shot, and really just try to get this ball to stretch out all the way up to the pin. It's a bit of a tough bogey there. That second shot I thought was gonna make it, but just a bit short. That was a really tough shot. It's not a hole 14, 475 yard par four. Um, bit of a downhill situation, downwind off the right. Gonna be aiming at the left edge of that right green side bunker. You're gonna be hitting driver. So really solid shot here, bit of a fade up the right center. Have 133 yards left. Pin appears to be a bit in the back, so you go the 40 degree wedge here and just try to have a nice smooth swing and hit it right on top of the pin. All right, well, missed a, well, missed a bit long here. You can see the pin, that was my line. And so, missed my number by about eight yards there. But, you know, it's getting colder. I thought it might go a little shorter, but uh, evidently not. But not a big deal. Got about 25 feet here. We can definitely make this. So let's see if we can roll it in. All right, so pretty good two putt there. <clears throat> just a tough drive in that first shot, but uh, recovered nicely. And that's just what it's all about, you know, just recovering and uh, just staying steady and understanding things are gonna happen. So we really am happy with that two putt and that wedge was pretty solid too. So on the hole 15, par three, 178 yards. I'm gonna be hitting a nine iron in there and trying to drop it right on top of that flag.
All right, well, I pulled this a bit left. Um, and have a really fun shot here. This is Pinehurst number two if I've ever seen it. So 58 degree wedge, you can try to land it up on that hill, have it skip up and then stop pretty quick right around that pin. So let's see if we can hit a good shot. All right, so that was a tough hole. I'm not gonna lie, um, that was a really good chip I hit, and it just kept, you guys saw it, it kept rolling. That's just pioneers for you guys. Um, I'm dealing with it all day, it's definitely not easy, but uh, we're still hanging in there. So now on to hole 16, 485, 89 yard par four. Should be hitting it right at the left center of that bend in the fairway with the driver. Any questions, boys? <laughs> <laughs> that should work, right? Oh my God. Just checking. All right, guys, so I'm sure you can hear some laughing in the background. I actually had a bit of a gallery in that shot, and as you can see, they were pretty excited to see where I put this one up the right center. I got to make a correction. It's actually 530 yard par four, so correction. A little longer than I remember, I thought. Um, I have 163 yards left. The pin is a bit in the back here. Um, so I'm going to just kind of try to run it back there at the pitchy wedge. But probably going to hit a three-quarter shot, maybe hit a, t a bit of a draw. Just try to hit it just left of the pin with the pitchy wedge. And yeah, just uh, flight it on in there and try to put it pin high, 15 feet away. All right, guys, well, that was not a good shot. Just completely gave up on it. It was a bit of a hanging lie. Didn't, didn't trap it the way I needed to. So, yeah, I'm gonna hit a 62 here. Just try to clip it the right way and get the spin check up and see if we can hit it close. Tough hole, I'm not gonna lie, it's getting dark, so racing darkness and filming at the same time, you're trying to get the shot quick and all that. So it can get tough to stay composed and hit your shot. So that's definitely playing a bit of a factor right now. But we're gonna play through it the best we can. So hole 17, 185 yards. And you see the pin right there, right center. Gonna be hitting nine iron, just trying to bring it in from the right. All right guys, so really solid shot here. Just a bit short and left, but we left ourselves an uphill putt. And in case you guys are wondering if it's getting dark, that would be the moon. <laughs> so it's about 10 minutes after sunset right now, but uh, we should be good to go. Looks like we're gonna get this in just in time. So we got about 25 feet. Let's see if we can roll it in at the very least. Get away the three and get on to our final hole today.
All right, so a really solid shot here. Tattooed it up the left center. Got 152 left. You can see the pin. It's in the back corner shelf. So definitely playing tough here. We're really just going to try to play this in the middle of the green. I have a pitch wedge in my hand. Got to keep in mind it's going to go a little shorter because it is in the morning now. So shooting from the center of the green. If I can scoot it back to her, that's great. But really, I'm not trying to do anything too crazy here. All right, well, actually a pretty good shot here. If it was went much further than right about here, there's a false front and that would have been down there. So really glad I was able to get some check on that. And honestly, that's probably my biggest advantage here is I'm be able to hit, you know, wedges into these greens and hold the green a little more easily. So for pin high, we got about 25 feet. So let's see if we can roll this in. That'd be a great way to finish this round off. So see if we can hit a really good putt. So that's gonna wrap it up for this 18 hole vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. Once again, absolute pleasure to play Pinehurst number two. If you guys wanna see us come back and play a bunch of more Pinehurst courses, let me know, like the video, all that good stuff. I really do wanna come back here. I think you guys would love it. So, and as always, I'm very happy to have Bernie on the channel. Um, so Bernie, what do you think of uh, today's round? You know, what, what are your comments post, uh, post round? Yeah, I think you did a great job playing the golf course. I think Pinehurst number two challenges your game from every aspect of it, off the tee, into the green, around the greens, and certainly putting. And we can see your skills getting better, and we see some opportunities for you to get better. And more importantly, the viewers here, if you get a chance to play Pinehurst, any of the courses are amazing, but be sure to try to play number two. It's one of the best you can play, and it's a great test of golf. Yeah, needless to say, it was brutal the entire day um, and yesterday as well so um, yeah that's gonna do it for us um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did smash that like button please subscribe to my channel subscribe to Bernie's channel and uh, yeah I'll see you guys next time